I'm like, I'm pretty sure the guy who stole our hubcaps trying to sell it back to me and he's cracking up. <laughs> King it. Rule your own world. Morning guys and welcome back to South Africa. We are in Cape Town still, having a great time. <laughs> so today, where are we kids? Today we are in a place called Boca. Is that how you say it? Probably not, no. I think we're probably butchering it. I think it's Boca. Boca. Something like that. Like Bo Selector, but Boca. It's really cool. By yeah. the way. Um, you probably know of this place already because it's quite iconic for Cape Town because of the beautiful, colourful houses. So uh, I know we're not smart people, Craig, but don't you know something about this? So a little bit of history. Back in like the 1760s, oh, yeah. it used to be a bunch of rental houses that were leased to the slaves that were brought from um, Malaysia, Indonesia and the rest of Africa to come down and work in the Cape. Okay. Um, so when they eventually were sold back to the slaves, they decided to paint all the houses super colourful to like celebrate their freedom. What is really cool about this place is that you want in! <laughs> yeah, you can get on YouTube and do some hair tutorials. So the really cool thing about this place is that the families that stayed here, the original slaves that were here, as their generations have grown older, they still own the house. So we've been here for ages. If you're like into your Instagram and just taking street photography in general, it's just so, it's so photogenic. There's so many colorful houses. There's loads of different streets. So this is like at the bottom of Signal Hill, which is the one that we saw the other day from Lion's Head. All right, all oh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, another one. It's a really cool spot. So um, definitely come and check this out if you come to Cape Town. We just need a car to go with your outfit, Craig. So we're taking this one home. It's a pretty good match. I'm blue, David. Okay, so it started raining, which was mad because it was a lovely day this morning. So we came back, I've put my hair up, I've changed my outfit, and look! The sun is shining bright like a diamond. No, that's just me. So we're gonna go back out, what are we gonna do now? Oh! You've left your hair on the side, Craig. What have I told you about leaving your Should hair Should I put on it the back side? in? No. <laughs> so, we're going to a place called Boulders Beach. Now apparently, there's like a deck where you can see all the penguins and then there's a place where you can like sneak through the rocks and you can sit with them and there's no one around. How do you know about that then? Oh, Birdie told me. Really? So we're gonna go there and try and find them. Oh, wacky. Are you excited? Mate, you know me. I feel like the whole reason we love South Africa is just because the animals we've seen. Mm. We've basically seen animals nearly every day. It's crazy, isn't it? It's brilliant. So many. Baboons, lions, sharks, penguins. There's just something on the side of the road, like Craig's nearly crashed twice because I've been like, oh, it's a zebra! And he's like, oh my god, don't do that! What I, I thought I'm like, was... have I hit a small child? <laughs> the way she reacts, but yeah, it's crazy driving around. Just the drive as well, there's a place we're gonna take you there, it's called Chapman's Peak. Oof. So you drive on the coast, yeah. and there's all these mountains and there's like waves crashing against the rocks. Oh, yeah, great. Gonna be good. Sounds wicked. I couldn't eat my breakfast, so I took it with me. Craig's like, why is there a pancake on my bed? Who puts a pancake <laughs> on the bed like that? You're actually mental. But uh, shout to uh, 91 Loop Boutique Hostel for having us. This place is awesome. Boutique, like it yeah. is special. Proper posh. Like all the rooms have got different themes, like in different names. So we're in uh, Shanghai. Is, like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, proper smart. Craig. Oh! <laughs> Are you gonna build it, Craig? Well, <clears throat> we got a rental car and we're supposed to take it back today because we're supposed to be flying home today. Yeah. But we love it here so much, we've extended our flight, so I'm trying to extend Yay. the car as well. So hopefully the little charge is a fortune. Yeah. But yeah, it's just it's amazing and it's so good. So much to do. And um, shout out to Jenna from STA Travel, the little legend. Yeah. She's um, been sorting all our flights for us and she got us flexi passes. So if you're going to ever book with STA and you get them, you could just change your flights free of charge. How good is that? They're a little bit pricey. Yeah, they're a bit more expensive than usual, but it just gives you that flexibility yeah, if exactly. you want to stay. So, Perfect. Uh, cheers, Jenna. They say the weather can change in like a split second over here in Cape Town. So we've lucked out now. We're heading to the beach. Some of you are probably thinking, why has she got a necklace on? She's going to the beach. Just because I wanted to, okay? Here he is, coming back with her. I'm not sure what's going on here. That's just, exactly just, the same one. Just, And you just found it on the floor? No, it's not laying there. 
Oh, it's okay. Yeah, in it, well, it's I've just got to wonder why someone would take it off and leave it on the floor. The well, I, well, I mean, what's the chances that this is going to take off again tomorrow? And we won't see it again. We have to pay for it again. Yeah, what is your name? Make sure I'm going to watch your name. What's your name? See ya. See ya. We just had all the scams in one go. What is happening this morning? <laughs> Mate, I'm on the phone to the car rental company and he's like, I'm like, I'm pretty sure the guy who stole our hubcaps trying to sell it back to me and he's cracking up. I'm like, are we responsible for that? He's like, yeah, it's, you no, have it's to your, pay. your wheel trim. The hubcaps. Yeah, the... yeah. The wheel trim, yeah. So <laughs> he's brought it back. He's like, I just found it on the floor. He's got it in a bag and everything. It's like a, his wheel trim specialised bag. I'm like, now are you lying? Because why would someone take it off and leave it on the side of the road, you know? So we've swapped him for a pie in about two quid. Because <laughs> a guy came up to me yesterday. There's a lot of homeless people here in a Cape Town. A lot of homeless people. Um, and it's really sad to see. But the guy was like, I don't want any money. I just want some food. So I took him to the shop and got him a loaf of bread and some peanut butter. And... And then the same thing happened to Amy and she just went ham. She spent about 25 quid yeah. in the shop. I can understand, like, there's a lot of homeless people. We'd love to help them all out, but we're, we're, I know, there's we're just spending so money left, many. right and centre. Buying our, our wheel trims, yeah. bad. But well, the lady food. was like, please, I don't want any, any money. I just want food. And obviously, I'm a human being. <laughs> She's a human being. I can't say no. And that's what I would want to give the homeless people. You know, I'd want to give them food over money because you just don't know what they're going to spend it on you know so like we went in there and she was like have a baby and she showed me pictures and i was like yeah you know get what you need and she yeah 25 pound later <laughs> i won't make that mistake again we don't have 25 pound to spend she just you know she got like formula milk and stuff and i was just like i have to get it for her yeah so um yeah but we need to be more stern because Mate, you took that, that wheel trim off and you've just sold it back to us. Did. I said to him, I was like, what's the, what's the chances of it happening again tonight, you know? And he was like, no, 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 I live on the street, like, I'll look after it. And I was like, what's your name? Shook his oh, hand and he yeah. said, it's a promise, I'll look after your car. So uh, <laughs> he's getting battered if he doesn't. You can get a bunch of food in from a supermarket and just hand it out rather than have them take you to the shop and spend, and spend 20 pounds. To the beach! <laughs> So we've been uh, shot on by a bird, so the lady's giving it a little clean. And uh, we're filling the car up. What's the currency here? Um, it is the South African Rand. So it's about 18 Rand to the Great British Pound, I think. So for a full tank, it is 672 Rand, which is about 35 pounds. It's not too different from home then, is it? Not too, not too different, it's yeah. It's not a Rand. It ain't a Rand. Two pound to go. It's also good to, because uh, they fill your petrol up for you here, like themselves, you don't have to do it yourself. So it's also good to tip them, apparently like five rand is a good tip, so. We've made it to Boulder's Beach and I can see the penguins already. Can you? Oh, oh there's loads of them! There's loads, isn't it? Ah, oh, wicked. Yeah, the, the wind's really picked up, so I'm about to put some trousers on because everyone can see my pants. But um, it looks amazing. Like, the, the sand by here is so white and just the water, the colours. Oh, South Africa, what are you doing to Stop us? Stop it. <laughs> stopping them from getting on this beach then this is a human beach is it and they're like so, yeah. you've got your own over there how pretty is this now well, that's a little hidden secret way that you come so when you come here um chances are you're going to go on decking with people and overlook onto the penguins but if you know the secret way to get in you can actually walk on the beach with the penguins like this is a section where it never is barricaded off or anything you're free to roam and they're just everywhere there is a little bit of climbing to do when you get here but nothing too strenuous eh nah i saw a granny doing this earlier and it's easy <laughs> you and your bloody beach bag it's so heavy yeah you might want to check the tide times as well because when the tide's high you can't get to this spot look how nice that water looks can you see them Look at them, they're all just playing in the water. Wait. Oh, there's someone to that rock as well, look. Oh, look at you guys! Oh my goodness! Quick, quick, I want to see you. <laughs> so, we want to be responsible 
vloggers and we're not going to show you exactly how you get in here just because we don't want to give it away too much but if you're coming to Cape Town and you're a true King Inlet fan drop us an email we're going to ask you a question about King Inlet and if you know the answer then we'll tell you how to get here we'll tell you how to get but in you, you can find it online it's not that secret but we don't want to make a blatant video yeah, like this we want to tell the here. world to know you know it'd be nice for just a little colony of people to know yeah yeah this is so cool but check this out It's like it's really hot here and there's just penguins living on the in Cape Town like it's madness. They look so amazing. Look at all <laughs> Oh they just walk like little fluffies. I love it. Incredible. <laughs> I love how this slaps against the sand. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you love it! Oh, it's just so funny. Mm. It's like, it's like so <laughs> funny, man. I want to be a penguin for Halloween. <laughs> they are class, aren't they? Like, there's nobody here either. Like, if you get in here, in here, there's like small groups of people, like all the way down that way. But then this side, there's just no people. Nobody. And there's actually, there is actually a no entry sign over there, but to go further, because that's where the colony is. But. This is one of the most amazing little spots I've ever seen. Isn't man. it? This Isn't is so... it? It's so beautiful. They're so fast as well. You get in the water. They don't want to come anywhere near me, which I'm really sad about because I wore a necklace that I glitter on it just in case it was any of their birthdays. But they just don't want anything to do with me. So I'm a bit sad about that, but they're amazing. They're, they're just the coolest things and they're so cute. And the way they just flap, we just sat here laughing at them, aren't we? It's like people watching. So I love it. They all went and tried to look at our bags and yeah, the yeah. went over there, like legged it, dived in the water. <laughs> Taking photos over there and they were like that in our bag. Just gonna go near them. <laughs> Bye guys, love you. Bye. We got back to our hostel and they've upgraded us. So instead of staying in the four bedroom dorm and then blocking off the other two, now we've got a double room. So uh, we're in Shanghai now, but we're gonna um, emigrate to Melbourne. We're off to sunny Melbourne. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Which is a floor down, which is closer to breakfast. Winning. You know you carry that little bum bag around. What do you actually keep in there then? My bum bag? This it's is the fanny pack. Ultimate snack bag, mate. So we have <laughs> actually family got size <laughs> coconut biscuits. And then we've got um Biltong. If you don't know what Biltong is. That looks revolting. It's like a like a dried cured meat. It's like a like a traditional South African food. It looks like a dog treat. It, it did fall, it fall apart. I had most Ooh, of that. fall apart. And then a bag of Skittles, which you all need, sour. And then, um, well, I did have that pancake from breakfast, but I literally ate that about 10 minutes you ago. You ate the pancake that we threw around the room. And um, <laughs> like, a, like a block of fudge, which, which I was also half eaten. <laughs> you, you don't carry blocks of fudge then, no? Just me? So, so it's not. It's not a bum bag, it's just a snack bag. Snack bag. Decent. Oh, it's the best thing I've ever tasted, Craig. <laughs> Absolutely fine. Yeah, fabulous. Get used to this if you're going to travel with a girlfriend. <laughs> so this is now our section of the hostel. And we are staying in, ding, 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 Melbourne, this way. Lovely. Cool as this. Look at it, like the crisp, the clean, that bed looks amazing. Yeah, we've got a little ensuite in here as well. Oh, hey, man. Look at this. Top drawer. Can you see our car from here? <laughs> <laughs> so we can see if uh, Sia, which is his name, is nicking our rooms again. No, we saw him earlier, he said he's going to look after him. Look how cool that is. That is cool. Do you reckon you can fit on your bag and take it home with you? 
So we're all cozy now in the room. That was such a good day, wasn't it? It was a brilliant day, yeah, I loved it. <laughs> Bowl cap was class, a little bit of history. And then just getting to hang out on a beach all day with penguins. Didn't get much better now, did it? No, I'm tired now, <laughs> I'm ready for bed, man. So yeah, we got some more cool plans tomorrow, but uh, you just have to come back to see what we're gonna get up to. We'll, we'll show you a little sneak preview, don't worry about that. So if you are brand spanking you, Thanks for hanging around with us, lads. I hope you had a wicked time. Make sure you press subscribe and tell your nan about us. How was all that? And if you're not new, guys, then thanks so much for like continuing to watch. You're like new now, and you're like, I ain't old, I ain't new, I ain't sticking around. So, uh, well, thank, thanks for having us for 10 minutes of your life. We really appreciate you if you do stick around and then um, press subscribe, yeah. And always remember, just like those penguins on the beach today. Roll your own world. One, two, three, bye. Next time on King in It, South Africa. A unique South African story built on a struggle. Hello, my name is Amy, and I'm here for the free walking tour, please. Going to the funeral today. Why is there a pasty? A pasty? What, what's that doing there? Oh, I love that.